Hello and welcome to another video about Superforms. In this video I'm gonna explain how you can set up a custom regular expression on your text fields. And I will also go over how you can implement mask input to also accomplish maybe a kind of similar uh, functionality. So for instance, let's assume you have a zip code or postal code uh, text field and you want to validate this field to be in a specific format. So let's say you want to request, uh, uh, let's say four uh, digit numbers and then followed by a space and then followed by a two letter uppercase uh, combination. So that's basically the zip code for in the Netherlands as an example. Now, the first thing you will want to do is obviously you want to add a text field to your form. So let's drag and drop that. Now let's name this zip code and edit the field. And over here, I'm going to call this zip code. And let's change the placeholder to zip code as well. And for the filled out placeholder as well. Now, the field type is a text field, that's good. Now, the important part here is the validation. Now, there's a difference between a validate, validation method and mask input settings. So, over here we have the validation, which can be found under the general section. But on the advanced, we also have an option to define a mask for the input fields. So for instance, if you are asking um, a specific format, you might not even need or require the custom regular expression as a validation method. Instead, what you can do is you can enter a specific format over here, like so. And in, in our case, we want to ask a four digit code followed by a space, followed by an uppercase or lowercase alpha character so you can define it like this which translates into the user needing to fill out uh, the four digits followed by uh, the two alpha characters so something like this or this either case it doesn't have to be lowercase or uppercase in this case so however as you can see below here we have an uh, we have the ability to automatically transform text to uppercase. So if we enable this, no matter what the user will enter, if they enter uh, like this, it will automatically become the uppercase version. So, okay, so we have defined our mask now. So let's go ahead and update the element. And let's preview this form right now. Um, okay, so if you if you go over to the field and you click on the field, you will automatically notice there's a specific specific format that requires to be entered. So if you have customers from the Netherlands, they will know if this is a zip code, they will know the format for the zip code. So if they try to enter alphanumeric uh, characters, they can't. They only can enter the numbers followed by the alphanumeric character. So in this case, I'm entering lowercase letters right now and they are automatically transformed into uppercase. So that's one way you could kind of format or you could say validate a field. However, uh, let's say, yeah. So now the validation on this field is set to none, which means there is no validation in place, which means the user can now submit the form without any issues. So if I now click the submit button, this, the form will be submitted and uh, yeah, the formats could or uh, the field could have been left empty. So let's say I'm gonna reload this form, same settings, and I'm just gonna skip this field. I'm just gonna submit it. I'm still allowed to submit it because there's no validation on the field. So for that, you always have to use a validation if you want to uh, specify if the user 
can skip it or not. So that's what we're going to do here. In this case, we have used the mask input for our uh, uh, correct formatting. So now the only thing you have to do is set this to be a required field. So this will allow, uh, won't allow the user to skip the field anymore. So it's not allowed to be empty basically. Now, if we update the element now, we can no longer submit the form. As you can see here, if we try to submit it, it says field is required. And if we fill it out and we try to go away, halfway entering the zip code. So let's say the user forget, forgot about completing the actual zip code. The zip code will become empty again. So they, they have to fill it out properly. So let's fill it out properly. Now we can submit the form without any problem. So that's one way you can uh, kind of do a regular expression with the use of the mask input future. Now, I will also demonstrate how you can do the exact same thing, but with actual custom regular expression as the validation method, which can be found here on the validation and then custom regular expression. Now let's first go to the advanced settings and disable the mask input and the uppercase transform because we no longer need this. And okay, so now we're going to use the re custom regular expression method. And regular expression is quite complicated and you can do a lot of things with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very basic example for the same zip codes format, but with regular expression. So a good website to use is regex 101. This is a website where you can try out your regular expression and try different things. So let's open this website. Now, if you're on regex 101, you will notice you have like an uh, input field where you can insert the regular expression and you can also insert a test string. So in our case, we are trying to validate this format. So one, two, three, four, space, and then uppercase A and then uppercase B. Now, we might just leave this as lowercase as well, but in this example, I'm going to do it the proper way and I'm going to validate on uppercase letters. So now if you go down over here to the quick reference, here you can see what options you have for your regular expression. So let's assume we want to filter uh, some digits. We can do that with this. So any digit, and you can also do any non-digit, for instance, or any word character. There's just a whole lot of options you have with regular expression. Now, in our case, we basically want to uh, have uh, a kind of regular expression that checks against the first for uh, being numbers, and then a space, and then followed by the two letter uh, combination. So how to do that is you go over here and you input the open bracket symbol followed by the regular expression, in this case a 0-9, which automatically shows you that it, that it already matches these characters. Now, in this case, that's not really handy because now we can also enter a number here. So we have to define that it has to be a four length uh, match. So there must be four digits in total. Now the next step is to do a space. Now a space can be just be a, a blank space basically followed by the next uh, validation which is our uppercase 
uh, alpha characters and they have to be of length 2. So now we have a complete match as you can see here. We have one match. Now if we go back and we add a space behind this it still matches so this if the user enters this in the input field with a space or multiple spaces it will be valid and they will be able to submit the form so in order to prevent that you will simply add a dollar sign at the end of your regular expression and now the, the it no longer matches the regular expression so if the user enters the input without a space it will match now the same issue on the front side they can enter spaces that's not what you want so in that case you enter the six or shift six symbol a carrot and <clears throat> as you can see there's no match now but as soon as you remove the spaces it matches now if you remove the space in between the numbers and the letters it also no longer matches so they have to fill it out like this now maybe that's not what you want so in that case you could do it differently you could let's say do a question mark after the space so in that case you can add a space but not not two space so you, both of these will be valid so i'm gonna <coughs> leave it at that because it's pretty common to actually allow this as well but that's up to you obviously this is only a demo for the uh, dutch zip codes <clears throat> anyway once you've created your regular expression and you're happy with the results and you have tested like combinations like uh, for instance let's say this or this and just try things out and if you're happy and it works then you copy the regular expression, go back to your form and then simply enter the regular expression inside here. Update the elements and go to the preview and then try it out. So if we submit the form now, we are not allowed to submit the form because we have to enter the zip code. Now let's enter a zip code with two spaces submit the form and it won't allow us now submit the form with just zero spaces with lowercase it will not allow the uppercase it will allow us to submit the form as you can see here so this is a very basic example of how you can implement your custom regular expressions in super forms for text fields but not just text fields you can also use this on, for instance, a text area. So I'm going to show that over here. Now let's get over to the validation. And as you can see, it also comes with a custom regular expression option as validation method. So you could even do some uh, regular expression on your text areas as well. Um, now, for instance, let's say you want to filter uh, an IP address, you can do that as well. Let's name this field IP address and let's name it IP IPv4, for instance. So let's go to validation and set custom regular expression so you can also find some examples on the same website by going to the library over here now if you look up for ip and you filter on most points you can see an example for ip version 4 addresses you can also try one for ip version 6 as well well, for this demonstration, I'm going to try this regular expression. Now, as you can see here, they also use the caret on the front and the dollar sign at the end, which is totally what you probably want. And now if we add this regular expression to our field and we try it out, 
we should be able to only submit the form as soon as we enter a proper IP address. So for instance, this isn't proper IP, this isn't a proper IP, this isn't a proper IP, but this is. So same for a zip code, let's enter a valid zip code and submit the form. And as you can see, we are successfully with submitting the form. And basically that covers the custom regular expression option in Superforms. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding this, or maybe if you need some help with some custom regular expression. Well, basically um, you can just Google any uh, custom regular expression that you require. So if you require it for IP, IP addresses or maybe for a specific zip code in your country, you can probably find it on the internet and then you just play around with it inside the regex101.com website. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions and also let me know if, if you want me to do a specific video uh, demonstration within Superforms about a specific future or anything. So now we'll try and do my best to explain it. Um, okay, that's, uh, that's about it. Have a nice day and take care.